Rumor has been going around that the NBA champ and MVP Steph Curry had attended one of Rico Hines' practice runs. This made fans eager to watch the MVP train there. With two episodes on his YouTube channel, Hines finally released the tape of Steph Curry alongside Kate Cunningham, Trey Young, and other NBA stars. In this video, we'll be looking at who Rico Hines is, why Steph practiced there, and much more. So let's get into it. First up, who's Rico Hines? Rico Hines considered as one of the greatest basketball coaches of all time. He played college basketball with the notorious UCLA Bruins and is currently serving as the player development coach for the Toronto Raptors. If you're looking to start a career in the NBA as a player, then you'd have to go no further than him because, well, his teaching talents are legend after all. This summer, Hines had his practice run with he had created for players to participate in. It allowed NBA stars to keep their skills in check during the off seasons and also get to know the play with the other big names in the game. Seems like a cheat code to succeed this season. The practice run continues contains five-on-five matches just like the way it is in the league and other practice drills as well. Apart from that, many prominent players of the NBA have practiced here and all their footage is uploaded on Heinz' YouTube channel, giving us, the fans, an opportunity to have an insight into our favorite players' playing styles. And no, this isn't some sort of subscription, though if things go well for the series, who knows? Given how everyone is jumping into the streaming service, we might get an NBA one with content like this as their main entertainment. But Till that happens, though we're not sure if that is an absolute possibility, we can continue to enjoy the top NBA players playing with and against each other in games and different challenges. Honestly, this sounds much better than most of what these streaming services are making these days. Next up, why did Steph Curry practice there? Fourth championship, MVP of the final, a new night-night celebration that is taking over the world, anything left that the Warrior point guard hasn't done? After such a dream season, we all would want to spend our holidays on tropical beaches or or maybe on a yacht in the open sea, or even travel around the world. But, well, that isn't the mentality of one of the greatest basketball players of all time. In fact, Steph Curry wasted no time and was back at shooting hoops as he took part in the famous Rico Hines practice run that we just learned about. Well, why would he do that? Like, come on, he should take some rest, right? Well, Curry wanted to continue his world's best form, and this practice course was the perfect way to do that, although many greats took part in this run. The Golden State Warrior star is undoubtedly the best to take part in the challenge so far. He's Steph Curry, after all. Curry went up against other NBA greats in a 5-on-5, and from the footage, it doesn't look like Vacation took any of his magic touches from him. That's a good sign for the Golden State Warriors, who plan to continue with an almost similar team, so if their main weapon is in the same form or even arguably better with the new experience he's getting, we can expect to witness one of the greatest NBA teams joining the ranks of Jordan's Bulls and Kobe's Lakers. Now, how did fans react? After hearing of a potential episode starring Steph, fans were eager and, well, they weren't disappointed. When the third episode of the Rico Hines series dropped, fans tuned in and saw the NBR star in training. Now, that's something you don't see every other day. You'll probably also be thinking that, well, it's just him training, like we see him in play in the NBA all the time and even against some at his level, such as LeBron. So why the hype? All of that is valid, but you won't be getting any footage of Curry right now, so this is the the closest you can get to a live match. Another reason for the hype is Curry's playing style, his control on the ball, his accuracy with his shots. It's all something that we just can't get enough of. In the words of Peter Dury, he's a walking piece of art beyond imitation and forgery. Yeah, we know he said this about Cristiano Ronaldo, but it applies here as well, okay? So then, there wasn't any reason not to watch the footage, and well, fans seemed to love every moment of it. Like, how could you not? Many took to Twitter to shower the newly crowned goat with compliments and praises. Some express their excitement about seeing Curry return the NBA, especially as he continues from god-tier form, and we honestly couldn't agree more. Other news? First up, Lancaster-born NBA star hosts a free basketball clinic in his hometown. Zaire Williams isn't a common household name at the moment, but is surely one to look out for. The 6-foot, 9-inch forward was born and raised in the Antelope Valley, and when he made it big by joining the NBA, he wanted to give back to his roots. The Memphis Grizzlies star hosted a free basketball clinic in his hometown of Lancaster. According to him, this was the first annual event hosted with the help of Herbalife Nutrition and Impact Basketball. In the clinic, Williams shared his basketball skills and secrets with more than 200 kids ranging from 6 to 18 years old. Held at the Pioneer Event Center, the Grizzlies star taught the kids how to dribble, pass, shoot, and even dunk the ball like him. Can't wait to see the kind of talent they end up being. When he was asked about why he took this initiative, he answered,
answered by recalling his childhood days, saying that there weren't any resources and opportunities for kids growing up in this city, but there was always raw talent, opportunity, and just beautiful mindsets in general. Talk about a local hero or idol to look up to. Moving on, let's look at how Journeyman's battle against LeBron James went viral. Dion Wright is known for not running away from a challenge, but well, it seems like everyone faces hurdles while maintaining their reputation. The former St. Bonaventure University player, basketball career took him from Japan to Ukraine, and now he has come up against one of the best in the game. While playing for a team in the Drew, which is like this most famous summertown league that draws NBA players for a bit of vacation practice, Wright got himself a match against the MME Cheater, which featured none other than LeBron James. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, NBA All-Star DeMar DeRozan was also in the same team. The timing was terrible for the journeyman because just one day before the match, he flew out to Buffalo for another tourney with a $1 million cash price, and well, his friends weren't gonna let this one slide. Taunting messages filled his DMs saying that seeing LeBron's name was too much for Wright and he had to run off. In the words of the forward, quote, the competitor in me came out. It was also a golden opportunity for him to make his mark in the basketball world and oh boy, did he leave a mark all right. The match was a dream for Wright who also became an internet meme for his wide-eyed expression while defending James. But this expression got him his chance of going big. This is just the start and we can expect him to make some noise in the next NBA draft as he establishes himself as the new underdog saga, a storyline that NBA fans drool for. And to wrap things up, small market teams are paying high prices to go all in. As we saw just now, small players are making headlines in the NBA and well, small teams are no different in this case. How? All these minor teams are set to make blockbuster trades in the transfer market because of their new massive budgets. As of now, the big names in the game are Los Angeles Lakers, New York Knicks, the Clippers, and Chicago Bulls. You get the idea, but you've probably not heard of the rest of the NBA teams, such as Atlanta and Minnesota, which will now be the new big names. What makes them big or small teams? The transfers, of course. Some have already started to make their marks, such as the Calvaries, who completed a stealth trade for Donovan Mitchell. Another minor team, the Timberwolves made their impact as well as signing Donovan Mitchell's former teammate Robert Gerbert. This new hierarchy in the NBA is set to make the league much more entertaining because now we can expect new terms, new names, and new legacies to entertain us. Like, imagine Dion Wright signing up for one of these new teams, then going head-to-head -head with LeBron in the NBA Finals. Goosebumps already! That's a wrap for this video. What was your reaction to Steph Curry's practice footage? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.